Hi everybody and welcome back to some more racing content here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now in today's video we are back on a set of Corsa Ultimate Edition trying out another awesome vehicle. Now like I told you in a previous video when this edition was released there's 178 vehicles on this game and there was loads I didn't really test out. Now this uh, vehicle was on the Ferrari 70 Anniversary DLC and it's the Ferrari F2004. Now I didn't really test this out properly so that's what I'm going to do in today's video video we're going to race it around Monza on I'm going to stick it on very hard I don't think I'm good enough to put it on alien and we're going to see what it's like so let's get straight into it hopefully it'll be an awesome experience right so here we go with a race around Monza in the Ferrari F2004 and plus I've turned the HUD off just for the ultimate experience but I might turn it on during the race just to check where I am place wise and that's not a bad start we're starting right at the back oh just listen to the sound of this Ferrari it sounds awesome right let's just try and get through this first chicane without getting smashed but I must admit the AI are pretty good on a set of Corsa so hopefully we should be okay take it nice and steadily oh a little bit of uh, contact there but nothing major and accelerates and this feels fantastic on the steering wheel I must admit and uh, I'm using the Logitech G29 today but last time I tested this out when the DLC came out I was on the Frostmaster T300 RS it's definitely uh, a different feel but still a good experience we'll just caught the curb through that section just trying to get used to the car I just like the way uh, you can just jump into cars on a set of course uh, without uh, mucking around with any of the settings and they just feel absolutely brilliant very grounded right let's try and uh, speed up through this section and catch up like I said I haven't got the HUD on so I don't know what position I'm in when I get onto the straights going to the next lap I will check just to see and we've managed to take a decent line don't make contact oh my god that was scary through there and we managed to do okay so uh, yeah this car does handle very well oh my god I am so surprised um, I, I just totally forgot how good this car sounds as well on this game right let's just get nice and tight around that turn and accelerate now I haven't mucked around with the gearing so I'm not sure whether this is going to max out up to 7th that's, uh, so we're in 8th we're in place so we're doing okay so let's see if we can take a few more cars and see if we can catch up Ooh, go down the inside no we're not going to get past this is to keep it nice and steady oh that wasn't too bad through there a little bit quick this time it's better oh god getting blocked off there oh my god bloody hell he was trying to force me off the circuit but still managed to take the position luckily right let's slow it down through this section and just try and keep off the curb this time oh nicely done we managed to get through there a little bit quicker this time and we've caught up with uh, a trio of oh god oh that car just got punted off so that's another place we've taken so that should put us up to p6 i think We'll double check again and uh, hopefully we can get closer to the leader of the race. I mean, I'm not worried about winning the race. It's just about having a good experience. And uh, I will be trying to test out as many cars as I can. I did try and race on this game online at the, the weekend. And I'll tell, tell you the truth, guys, there was hardly anyone online. And I cannot understand this because this game is just absolutely amazing for the experience. Okay, it does lack a in a few areas to the lights of Project Cars 2, but it's still an awesome sim game on the console that you've got to try out. So we're up to fifth. Right, let's see if we can get past. Now we've managed to get past and we're up to fourth. We're doing really, really well. Now maybe we could have put it on a harder level. Maybe we will try that again, but maybe around a different circuit. Let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see that. But this is awesome. Or maybe we can try one of the other Formula cars. Uh, because uh, this is this is a really really good experience on this game. Right, let's just try. Let's see if we can just close in. Oh, that car's going rather slow. Around there, we will take that position if we can just get into this chicane without getting crunched and keep a nice line. And that was nice and smooth again through there. So we're doing really really well. Right, let's just try and hold it tight around here. Stay off the curbs, and I think we should be in third. Place. So we've only got two more cars in front of us and I'm not sure how many laps we've got left. I can't remember. I can't even remember how many laps I've got. Did I put it on five or six laps? It doesn't matter. I'm just enjoying the experience. Right, let's see if we can get through here a little bit quicker. Slow it down. Nice and smooth. 
little bit of curve there, but it just feels so, so responsive. Right, let's see if we can close. I mean, they do need to add, um, in future, a set of course again, they do need to add dynamic weather. That is one thing that I must admit, they leaving that out does really, really lack. Um, you just want to have something extra that will make the game a little bit tougher in the races. I mean, it's nice racing in dry conditions all the time, but I think dynamic weathering games just adds that little bit of difficulty and unpredictability, which I like about racing. Right, we just managed to hit the, oh, the fastest lap, I'm pretty sure. Um, most uh, people that are good at these games can do far quicker than that. Right, let's see if we can just close in. Let's see if we can get past this one on this lap. Um, we're getting close to the leader. I was actually surprised. I thought the leader would have disappeared in the distance. But uh, maybe he came off the circuit. Uh, you never know. Because uh, the AI on the set of that do make a they do make mistakes and uh, that is good to see they're not uh, completely uh, robotic where they just stick to a line and never push their car they do battle with you and uh, i've had that experience uh, quite a lot over the last few days i've been playing the game I've had some really good battles against the, the ai so i'm really really happy about that because i do like playing the campaign on these games right let's get a nice line through there it's not too bad building up some speed I definitely think I, I needed to change the gearing. Um, I think this car maxes out on 100 and up to 194 there. So that's pretty decent. All right, let's try and get a good line round here in this slipstream. And I think we're closing in onto the final laps. So let's make sure that we can get closer to the leader. Nicely done. And we're into second place. We're just uh, one car away from the lead. And that is going to be scary. Right, let's see if we can just get past through there. Oh, God, that was a little bit uh, dodgy through there. Took a little bit too much speed, but managed to hold on to it nicely. It does feel very, very grippy. Really good downforce on this car, as you would expect for a Formula car. Um, but uh, this is from 2004. They've made a lot of improvements to the F1 cars now. Uh, they're a lot quicker. Um, the handling's probably a lot better. Right, let's see if we can put this car under pressure on this lap. We are getting close, and it'd be nice if we could actually get a win in this experience. Right, slow it down. Nice and smooth round there. Accelerate. Oh, this car is just absolutely crazy. Just looking then, the car behind is still very close. We're going to have to be aware of that. But I must admit, the experience uh, turning up the HUD gives you a much realistic experience. Plus, I'm sitting in front of a 50-inch screen with uh, surround sound and it just sounds absolutely crazy it really does it feels like you're at the formula one races it sounds that good right let's slow it down try and get a nice smooth turn here and let's see if we can get into a slipstream and maybe get past i'm not sure how many laps we've got left maybe one more lap so let's see if we can Nice last lap. Yes, we've managed to get past. Are we going to be able to hold on to it through the chicane? Hopefully we can. Let's just make sure he's not running right in behind me. Let's slow it down. Let's keep it nice and smooth. A little bit of uh, curb there. Not too much. And accelerates. That's not too bad. That was nice and smooth through there. But now we're leading the race. This is where it gets tricky. Sometimes I find it easier to follow than lead a race. Uh, especially when you've got no HUD. I've got no idea where they are. Uh, but that just adds to the difficulty. Right, let's try and get through there a little bit smoother. That was nicely done through there. And let's see if we can get nice and tight this turn. I'll just try not to overdo it. You don't need to push it too hard. And that's nicely done. But oh, that was a little bit close. Grabbed a little bit too much curb there. Definitely, definitely going to race this again. And on a harder level. And, uh, but... I find on this game, uh, levels vary on different cars. I mean, some cars you can put it on Alien and you can compete. Some cars you just can't get anywhere near the AI. And I'm really surprised. I thought they would be a lot quicker on uh, very hard. Um, but I expect Alien is absolutely 
ridiculous in these cars and I would absolutely struggle but we've had an awesome experience now I am going to share a little bit of the replay um, after this race guys and uh, yeah they don't show the full replay on a set of course and that's something I wish they would add in future games but there you go guys that was an awesome experience in the Ferrari F2004 and in the next video I'm going to be testing out uh, the Audi TT Cup in a race I think I'm going to go race that around Nürburgring GP. Uh, it's another car I haven't really tested out uh, much. And I will put other cars in the videos for you to select as well that we haven't tested out. Right, guys, please enjoy the replay. And I will see you very, very soon.